start to let some good deep breaths flow. Good relaxing inhales. Long, slow exhales. Body feeling comfortable, present, relaxed. The gratitude I was thinking of for today is that we're not stuck. Oh, specifically, I'm speaking emotionally. Sometimes I have those days where maybe I'm grumpy or something, and it feels like I'm stuck. Like mm -hmm. that's the only emotion I can have that day. Mm -hmm. But I've I kind of sometimes kind of play around with the idea that okay, what if I get myself to laugh, mm -hmm. or what if I get myself to think of some gratitudes? And either way, laughing or gratitude, you can feel a difference in the body you can feel a difference in the mind the emotions can change and so that's our our gratitude for today that we can shift and so what i'd like us to do as we're laying here for a moment is think of something that you'd like to really feel some emotion that you'd really like to feel today and that's kind of like the emotion that you're dedicating your practice to so this, for me, I'm specifically choosing love. That's my dedication today. I'm focusing on love and how much can I open the cells of my body to love. And maybe you're choosing something different like happiness or gratitude or um, bliss or there's, there's a million emotions. But take a moment here to hand pick the emotion you'd like to just kind of pervade it all over inside of the body. Take a couple of breaths to really pick that out. Like our dedication for practice today, I'll be reminding us of that dedication for me, love, for other people, something else. And when you've picked it out, imagine each stretch that we take is helping to open up the experience of love or whatever it is in your body even deeper. So from here, if you're ready, let's start to take the knees into the chest. With the hand on each knee, rock around just a little bit on that low back. Give it some easy movements. Let's settle into this, just two more breaths, rocking around, just super easy, super gentle. release the left leg let it drop all the way long to ground we're clasping hands around this right knee we're going to invite it into different angles so the first angle is right knee gently coming directly toward right shoulder so it's going to be a different amount for everybody whatever arm strength feels appropriate pull it directly into right shoulder And when you find a good placement, yep, I can hear it already, just send some good breath. Take a moment to let your, the grip back away just a little bit. The knee's going a little bit further away. From that placement, we can start to invite right knee toward left shoulder. So it's crossing over the body. This one can't get pulled in quite as far, but just see how much your body can invite right knee over to left shoulder. It's a matter of inches, but for me, it creates a lot of space right in that hip socket. A couple of good breaths there. Inhale, 
exhale. Back the hugging off for a moment. And then the third placement with both hands still clasped. Let the right knee go as wide open as it can and hug it into that side. So it's almost like the right knee is trying to aim open for the right bicep. Because I've got both hands clasping, it is limiting the exact range. Like, so it could technically go wider if I released. But keep the hug. Let it go wide and pull it into that bicep. Take one more huge breath, let it flow in. And out. And then from here, a moment with half happy baby, sliding right hand up to the outside of right foot. This should feel pretty natural after that last pose, the foot rising up above the knee. If you want to start playing with the hamstring at all, you could let the leg lengthen out wide for a moment and then return back to the bent half happy baby. But only if it feels good, you can stay with half, just the rocking half happy baby. A little bit of motion if you wish. An easy inhale. Nice relaxed exhale. Slip that right hand back down to right knee and then start to take that knee across the body into a simple twist. Right knee heading over to the left. Try to keep right shoulder on the ground. Maybe the neck is part of that twist. The deep belly breaths flowing. And then we're switching this into a quadricep stretch. So continue to roll your right shoulder up. You're laying more on the side body. The right hand and the right foot connect behind your back. If this is enough, stretch this holding hand onto foot, that's fine. You could deepen it by returning the right toes to the ground behind your back. Maybe you just go that far, or maybe swiveling the toes a little bit further to that right side of the mat, you return to laying on your back with the toes tucked like this off to the side. So you choose the depth, listen to your quad. Take one more huge inhale. A nice exhale. You need to roll to the side again to unwind the leg, that's fine. Once you're there, happy, let's take both knees back into the chest, a couple of easy rocking motions. And starting to release the right leg onto the floor, slide it long, clasping both hands around left knee. The first angle is pulling left knee directly into left shoulder. Give that spot some good breaths. Imagine each and every one of these stretches we're taking, the purpose of it is to open up our body so we can feel that emotion we handpicked out even better in those cells. It's almost like, imagine your body starts off kind of gelatinous and when you put a drop of food dye onto gelatin, it'll eventually kind of seep in. But if you can start to change the consistency from gelatin to liquid, when you put that drop of food dye, it spreads out so much easier. So it's easier to feel that emotion. That food dye is the emotion that we're imagining today. 
So now let's back off a little bit off of this angle and then start to pull that left knee closer to right shoulder. This is the one that only comes in a couple of inches, but give it some breaths right there. Feel that outer hip getting some stretch. More breath in, out, both hands stay clasped. Now the knee goes as wide to the left as it can with the clasp, and then hug it in from that side. It's like it's inviting knee to bicep. left hand. Maybe you're holding still. Maybe you're rocking it a little bit. Maybe lengthening out wide to the side. Then we're turning it back to half happy baby. Your preference, a few more breaths. Good inhale. And exhale, release the hand from the foot. Help the knee cross all the way over the body. And try to keep the left shoulder grounded for this first twist. Maybe the neck is gazing over that left side. Quadriceps stretch when you're ready. You can lift the left shoulder up. We're laying more on the side body. Left hand grabs left foot behind your back. And maybe that's where you stay. Or maybe you return just the foot to the floor. Maybe you return all the way to lay on your back. It's the amount that feels good for that quad. Everybody's different in their flexibility there, so no need to compare. further forward, closer in. Choose how much the spine is willing to relax up and over. Rising up, let's let the right leg open out wide. First, we're gonna twist toward the straight leg, walking the hands down.
then walk the hands into the center, reaching forward. Walking the hands in for a moment, let that right leg get tucked back and then plant your hands to the left side. So you're twisting away from the positioning of the legs, twisting toward back door. Hip lifts up, fill some space in the spine. Turning forward, grab the right hand to the right ankle. Let the right ear drop to right shoulder. Left hand reaches up and over. Leaving that, that ear continuing to drop down. The left hand slowly works, works its way to hover right above the ground, pulling left shoulder into the stretch. softly rises, plant both hands behind, leaning back until you feel that right quad and under tail. If you're not quite there, a tailbone scoop under, like a little tuck of the pelvis will get you there. You could even drop down to an elbow or both. Another inhale. Exhale, rise back up, swivel the right leg back open, back into cobbler. Lifting up, the left leg opens out wide. First twist toward the straight leg, walking the hands down to that side. into the center. Rise up for a moment, so left foot can tuck back. Foot hands to the right, spiral the spine twist. Left foot back, yep, twisting toward the front door. Turn forward, left hand grabs left ankle. Left ear drops to left shoulder. Right hand reaches up and over. Leaving that ear dropping down, the right hand slowly returns to hover above ground. Feel it pull that right shoulder into the stretch. Head gently rises, plant the hands behind. Let's head backwards until we feel left quad stretching. 
So it might just be a matter of walking back a little bit. It might be just the tailbone scoop under. We'll tuck in the pelvis. Sometimes dropping to one or both elbows feels nice. Inhale, easy exhale, reverse your way up. One more of these cobblers, relaxing up and forward. Good breath flows in and out. Let's head our way up. We're swinging our knees underneath us, kneeling. Over here, let's do a couple of cat pose. The vertebrae slowly round up the sky. Belly drops down, gaze up. Flow with your exhale, and your inhale. One more good round each direction. Back to neutral. Let's kick our right leg back, floating hip height. Left arm forward, perhaps. Staying is fine. Four, five times. Exhale, elbow and knee comes to touch underneath. Inhale, length. Four. Three. Two. One, beautiful, drop just the hand, cross the right leg off the mat, left side, and then push your hip to the right as you gaze over your left shoulder and first place. Stays for the outer hip. Circle the toes all the way to plant at the right side, and then we come up high. Slide the right hand down the right leg, left hand reaching up and over. And back up. Slide that right foot in, maybe a full foot or so, the knee's about at a 90 degree angle. And then from here, sink your weight like a side lunge off to that side while the inner hips open up. You can have fingers on floor, fingers up on the thigh, whatever feels good. Another huge breath in and out. Straighten the leg back out and then drop down to the elbows in the floor in front of you. Maybe ease the elbows closer to the straight leg if you want a little more stretch. Inhale. Exhale. Back up onto hands, lower the right knee down. Left leg kicks straight back behind us, right arm forward. Maybe just balancing for a moment. Or exhale, five, inhale, length. 
four, three, two, one. Hands down, foot crosses off the mat to the right. And then we gaze over the right shoulder at those toes. returning. We continue to slide the foot all the way up to the left side and we come up high. Slide the left hand down, right hand reaches up and over. Torso up. Slide the foot in a little bit, about a 90 degree angle, and then lunge to that side. Inhale. Exhale, come back up. Leg is straightening again. Drop down to elbows. You want a little more, ease the elbows. Inch them a little closer to straight leg. Inhale flows in, but exhale. Coming back up onto hands and knees. Keep that left leg underneath. Start to set up the hands and the toes for down dog. And slowly pull the hips, be that initiation. The hips lift high first, and everything else follows. Wiggles through knees or shoulders can feel amazing. You can stay or at any point come up to top of mat, forward fold, your preference win. to circle the hands either on the calf or on the floor off to the right side. And off to the left side. Step through the center. Inhale to rise. Exhale, hands down to heart. Let's try out a quad stretch here. If you ever need to go close to a wall, that's fine. We're trying to aim right hand to right foot behind our back. We do want to fill the right quad in the stretch. So if you're here and you're just like, I could, I could be the cure all day and not fill a single thing, then the knee gets pulled back a little bit and the tailbone scoops under, a little tailbone tuck a little bit. Inhale, exhale, release this leg, cross the right foot in front of the left foot, pinky toes close, roll your spine down. Easy roll of the spine back up. Uncross the foot. Straight 
Uh, right foot is our standing foot, left hand to left foot behind our back. Take your time, no rush. If the knee gets to, needs to be pulled back a little bit, that's fine. If it needs to be tailbone scooping under, that's fine. Another inhale, exhale, release. This leg crosses in front of the other. Roll the spine down. Inhale, nice exhale, easy roll of the spine up, and cross the feet, standing back on left, right leg opens to tree, so maybe kick stand with the toes on the ground, maybe ankle, calf, you choose the appropriate spot, pull the spine stacking upright, nice and tall. Inhale, exhale, arms open out like balance beam. Start to kick this right leg back, warrior three. Soft land, warrior one, arms sweep up. Front leg straightens, hands to the hips. Bend at the waist, dropping down to shin or floor pyramid. Off in the front knee, roll the spine up. Get back up, warrior one. Open up, warrior two. Extended side angle, front elbow to front thigh. The other arm stretches up and over. Warrior two. Reverse warrior. Warrior two. Now swivel your feet open into goddess shape. Let the knees already be in a bent shape. And as the arms reach up our inhale, squat a little bit lower, like an inch lower. And then exhale, we're rising up an inch higher. Inhale, arms up, inch lower. Exhale, arms down, inch higher. Let's take three. Two. One. Drop the hands to inner knees. Press the hips open, leaning forward to an amount that feels good. Maybe even twist the right shoulder forward. And left shoulder. Back through the center. As you straighten the legs, turn the toes to the long edge. And start to roll all the way down, easy forward fold. Roll the spine up. Front toes turn forward. Front knee bends. 
Bring the arms up briefly, warrior two. And then cartwheel the hands to the inside of the front foot. Hop up onto the back toes, lizard. You can stay up on wrists, maybe one elbow drops down, maybe pull. Straight to down dog. We're going to walk our feet up toward top of mat. Once again, when you get there, sooner or later. So walk your hands briefly over to the right side, a little spinal rotation. Walk a little bit to left side. Back through the front. Inhale, right. Exhale, hands down to heart. Standing on right foot, left leg opens up tree pose. Choose the height that feels like it's going to work today, and the rest of the spine is trying to lift. Let's open up like balance beams. Bring the leg back, warrior three. Soft land, warrior one. Hands to the hips, front leg straightens. Pyramid. Work your hands down, thigh, shin, maybe floor. Feel all these stretches continuing to invite in your emotion. Like that food dye is just spreading around, that food dye being our emotion. Bending the front knee, rise the arms up, warrior one, warrior two. Extended side angle. This one's to the mirror side. You got it. <laughs> and warrior two. Reverse, left hand on left leg, top hand up and back. And warrior two. Turn the toes open to goddess. Five more times, we're already in the squat. As our arms reach up, lower a little bit. Exhale, raise up a little bit. Four. Three. Two. One. Good. Hands drop to the inner knees, pressing the hips open. Lean forward to the degree that feels good. Yep, let's do gentle spinal twist, left shoulder forward. Right shoulder forward. 
center. Straighten the legs, turn the toes to the long edge. And choose a good arm variation for your forward fold. Soften the knees, roll up to stand. Front toes turn forward, open the arms, warrior two. Cartwheel the hands down to the ground. And the hands are on the inside. You can lower the back knee, lizard. So you can stay on wrist, that's fine. You can take one elbow down if you wish, up to you. our way back up to hands. Slide that right knee underneath your body. Taking puppy pose, hips stay over knees. Arms start to walk forward. We're arching the heart down. You can either rest chin down or forehead. to walk the hands backwards into a child pose. For pigeon, we can either come to pigeon from downward facing dog or from kneeling. Let's eventually slide the right knee under and through. Perhaps lowering to elbows. dropping your right hip to the ground. Swing the left leg all the way around. It could be end up in left leg cross, leg in front, or left leg shin stack. Whenever that left leg is set up, start to ease your way forward. back in. Let's twist over the right shoulder. Just 
Just over the left shoulder. Turning forward, a brief hand clasp behind our back. As the shoulders pull open, you feel the heart lifting up, maybe the throat rising up a little bit. Huge inhale. Nice exhale. Release the hands. We'll take the second side pigeon. If you'd like one last down dog, that's fine. If you'd like to just go from here, left leg can stay in front and right leg swings around. If you do it that way, make sure that the sacrum is definitely level again when you get there. So we're not just rocking over to one side just because we approached it a different way. Another good inhale. Exhale. Rock onto left hip. Right leg swings around, cross leg or and stack. When you get there, ease your way forward. Rising up, just over the left shoulder. The right shoulder. Back forward, hand clasp behind, open the shoulders back. Lift the heart forward, chin up. And releasing the torso up, re-clasp the hands <coughs> behind the head. Spine is tall, but the arms here invite the weight of the head to drop forward. We're not pulling against the neck, but we're weighing the head down. Good inhale. Exhale, release. And if there's any last stretches our body needs before Shavasana, go ahead and do that. Anything at all.
sí. Never a rush to get to Shavasana, but when your body is settled there, imagine that during the Shavasana, it's almost like a computer getting an, an update. Imagine that your update for a little while is receiving the emotion that you picked out on a deeper level than you've ever felt before. For instance, mine is love. So imagine I would, I would let myself just receive love in a higher way than I've ever experienced. Like what is unconditional love? How does that feel? Maybe I've only ever experienced 25% of love. So what does 50 or 75% of true unconditional love feel like? Awesome. <laughs> Maybe your, your word is something else, happiness or whatever. Just imagine it's like you're receiving this upgrade getting to experience this emotion deeper than you've ever experienced it before. Slow breaths in and out. Begin to deepen inhales, deepen exhales, 
Introduce little movements back to fingers and toes. Ankles and wrists. Start to stretch out like we're waking up first thing in the morning. Perhaps take a fetal position off to one side if you wish. Maybe two or three more beautiful breaths until you feel ready to rise sooner or later. Here as we come up, we can join our hands together in front of heart. We feel like we've received our emotion in a higher degree. So imagine now as we're wrapping up class, heading out into the world, imagine we can broadcast this emotion to those that are empathic enough or those that are open enough, tuned into the right channel to receive it. And you never know who that might be. Sometimes I imagine as I'm driving my car, I imagine it's like my car sprinkling little emotions around to all the people and those that are angry and those that are kind of rushed. Maybe I'm affecting them ever so slightly, helping to lighten their mood, helping them to connect more with love. And that way, I'm not only helping myself feel better, but I'm broadcasting it out the world as well so with love or whatever the emotion you picked with us heading into that emotion with that to lead us on let's wrap up the time we shared together with the sound of om deep inhale now May we be filled with light, happiness, and peace. Namaste. Namaste.